Welcome back to that Grim Reaper extravaganza. Man, I love, I love that first one. See you with hell, my friend. Yeah, it's a good one. Pretty yeah. rhythmatic, but you know, they were still writing songs that were like that back in the day. And a good band to have if you don't have that library. Definitely recommend you go out, download it, or buy it. Yeah, whatever were, comes first. If you were here looking around at the albums that we have hanging on our walls, um, that would be one of the ones you would want to add to it. Yeah, Grim Reaper was actually old enough to be on MTV. Well, that's what 80, well, when I, I consider uh, MTV actually good, it was like 84 to 87. Yep. Before yeah. they went to, like, Britney. When Britney yeah. exploded, it was all over. Hey, some of that stuff was good, but after after that, it was, uh, it, it it went all to the, what is it called now? Uh, the reality, reality shows. Oh, yeah. Where they dropped their uh, music and they went straight on to yeah. entertainment. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense. Music television now presents a whole bunch of drunk people in a place where they're doing things and they're all overly tame. And they get paid to do it. Yeah. And they get paid. Paid. Here's something. We're uh, we're on a camera right now. Yeah, we are. I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't like it. Right. Yeah. That's because I can't pick my nose anytime I want. <laughs> Whoa. Man, I you, can't. <laughs> you can't. You <laughs> can't. Yeah, that's the only thing I found wrong with it. But if you want to check it out, check out our Facebook. It's up there, uh, or will be soon. We gotta do the editing on it. Yeah, we gotta put it all together. But you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of guys doing work and a lot of guys playing pool. Yeah, pretty much. And a lot of guys drinking whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, tequila, which is what is in the clear glass that I'm holding up at the moment. I have to hold it like this so I don't get any sponsorship. Yeah. Points. Look at me and my Eddie's Flight Six Sixty Six coat. Oh, I love how we're all acting like we're on yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> We gotta remember we're on the radio. Yes, we are. And we're gonna play songs like. Black Label Society, mm. My Dying Time. And then, uh, Old Budski. I, I, I didn't get as many songs for Savage this week, and that's because I have a, what was it, 18 minute burner? Yeah, yeah. Uh, mainly this first song, The Black Label Society, got in right now. Yeah, because it was only two and a half minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. It takes me long to tune up. Yeah, and uh, the reason why the Iron Maiden song is. It's uh, right around 19 minutes long, and uh, it's a story about. I believe I would go with Epic Journey. An epic journey, if you will. Yes. Of a tragedy of a crashing of the world's largest spaceship, spaceship, airship of the time, the R101 in October 1930 in France. Was that the wooden one that they made that landed in the water? I... You know what I'm talking about, Scuba Ski. Scuba Ski. Scuba Ski, the first Zeppelin. The, the big plane they made that uh, landed in the water it was huge. Oh, it was oh, made yeah, out of wood. The one that, Spruce uh, Goose. Howard Spruce Goose. Yeah, the Bruce Springsteen thing. Yeah. Uh, that's what chicks used to call my uh, package. The oh, Spruce Goose? No, Howard Hughes. Because they really wanted it to go high, but every time it just sang. It just sang. Right. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, that's a 19 minute jaunt. Yeah. Of, uh, it seems like four different songs. It's really awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, and after this, we're going to come back and hit you with Bud Ski, the man from Metallica. Yeah, and we got some good ones this week. A couple of my favorites. So uh, sit back and enjoy the Midnight Metal Madness Show. Show. 